Hello my Sock Universe! Now I'm not only wearing glasses, it's a completely different view here and the reason is that now that home office will continue in the sense that uh, we will be allowed to work more from home, I actually got around to bought myself a desk. Meaning I'm moving just a half a meter further in front, which I actually like because now you can see like the full background here. Boy, was it a game yesterday in the evening. Um, I'm wearing the newly acquired PSG jersey because that's what PSG was wearing. PSG went through. However, I really would have liked to wear this one here. But uh, was not to be, uh, despite uh, it pointing to its that direction for quite a while. Um, yeah, speaking of jerseys, I was actually quite pleased with the jersey image. I think. Either way, it would, have, would have, gone, would have been blue against white, and I think either way, it would have been nice. But I, was like, I really like these jerseys by PSG, and then having Atalanta play in their prime jerseys, I think, really works well. It was actually a game that, um, at the beginning, lived up to its billing of two very offensive teams uh, going at each other. Then, um, stopped. It was kind of headed for a one-goal game, which was not really in the cards. We did not expect anything like that. Um, and then in the end, we got three goals, which is uh, basically right on par of what was expected beforehand. I just realized I have a quite a... I, I need to clean up back there. This will look much better. Um, I think the first real uh, action was in the third minute on both sides. First, Papu Gomez is free and takes a shot. I think if he gets a little bit more power behind that shot, uh, Papa Gons could, could have scored. But then more or less same minute. It was not the direct uh, issue uh, ensuing counter-attack because uh, Atalanta lost the ball. But the ball then comes to Neymar who has a clear run on goal and you could see that uh, he takes the initial touch and then how he takes off and moves towards goal of Atalanta but puts the shot uh, wide, which honestly was surprising to me that Neymar cannot convert this chance. However, uh, was not too, uh, I, w I was not too unhappy with that. Let let's be there. I was, despite discovering again my lost love for PSG, uh, I have to say um, it's, it's similar with Chelsea, with Chelsea, I think. Uh, they are now bigger and better uh, guys on the block uh, if you put money in and after all I have been a PSG fan and yeah uh, we can get into the, uh, these thoughts at, at another time they are not in my top three or four as they were but uh, I think I'm, com I'm coming around to liking them although Neymar really makes it hard speaking of Neymar uh, without going for any game I have to say Neymar Finishing aside was the best player on the field and for once I did not see him roll around for once Which is a biggie uh, for, for for me because and he Constantly was getting the balls uh, moving forward uh, Launching attacks if anything was to happen for PSG and we have to speak of the injuries and suspension There was no Verratti. There was no Di Maria um, On front. Yeah, Sarabia is not all that bad, but uh, there was also Icardi Cavani is not there anymore. So there was, a, if, if you look at the initial lineup, there was definitely the feeling this is a PSG right for a taking. Yes, there is Neymar there. There, Icardi is a poacher, but didn't show all that much. And Mbappe is on the bench. So um, big chance for Atalanta. That midfield for PSG looked rather, rather weak, I have to say. Um, and it was an Atalanta who had uh, a few chances right up until the 15 minute mark or so, I mean there was Hatteboer, I think there was Jim City, uh, probably all of them c potentially could have been flagged for offside, but you could really see that Atalanta is really enjoying themselves and playing their Atalanta style of game, which is uh, so attractive and we, what we want to see. Um, but then slowly but surely, uh, PSG, fueled by Neymar, it got itself back into the game. and. It was really had the feelings around the 25th minute or so. I think PSG is now in control. They managed to escape the press of Atalanta because how do you escape? You have individual effort and playing quick through balls. So um, that they did actually at that point quite well. And speaking of the press, I think Atalanta is reminds me so much of my favorite team Lusk in the way they're playing. Also this high press, quick uh, pass style. Uh, 
that is really interesting, intriguing to uh, play, uh, to watch and also speaks for um, teams that have maybe not the highest quality in, in individuals. Though for Atalanta it's really hard. I mean, if you've seen Papo Gomez play or uh, Duvan Zapata and so on, um, Ilicic, there is really good players in there, but it's not the top, top, top of, of, of the world, but the team is gelling and uh, Lask is doing something on a much smaller scale in Austria. It wasn't against the run of play that Pajalic gets the 1-0, uh, but it was a really nice Atalanta move uh, going forward. Where uh, I think it was G um, Toloi who took away the defender from Pajalic, who is then free. The ball comes from the Zapata and he just has to pull it in the net. 1-0 Atalanta. And from that point on, up until like 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, got the upper hand hand again and really were um, putting PSG under, under pressure. However, there was also uh, two chances where once Neymar was out on the left and it was not clear is he going on goal or is he gonna pass it. He decided to pass it but Icardi doesn't make the run. And then there was another good chance by Neymar. I think there was also a free kick. Uh, the finishing is what Neymar le uh, let down at least in the first half um, or for, for, for the entirety of the game it has, has, has to be said. Clearly, PSG with their coach being uh, in cast and so on, uh, was not happy with the first half and the way they came out of the half, uh, totally overwhelming at the ladder right from the kickoff. But, um, the longer the game went, the more Atalanta kind of, it was PSG tried to get the initiative, but Atalanta was always inter in intercepting. It became a little bit more defensive. And then I think there were two key moments all happening more or less at the 60th minute. Uh, I was waiting for Malinowski to come on, but uh, Papo Gomez went off, uh, seemingly in injured. That was, or, that was the first thing. At the same time, Kylian Mbappé comes on. And what that allowed PSG or forced at, at Atalanta is that they could not press that high because Mbappé with his speed is a constant threat. So Atalanta had to fall back a little bit. And it's no coincidence, in the 59th uh, minute, I think, was it? Jim City, uh, totally. one, one of the two had, had, had basically the last real chance for At Atalanta because from that moment on it became a defensive struggle where uh, again it was not a great game anymore it was a really good game in the first half in the second half uh, the game kind of fell off but yeah what uh, what can I say I mean it was really uh, the speed of Mbappé kind of and also Neymar kind of scared of Atalanta a little bit and they fell back and in, in addition I think tiredness crept in. Intensity of play I'm sure it was warm and I have to say the last two weeks of Serie A um, Atalanta did not look all that fresh anymore. They played wonderful against Juventus and then I don't recall them playing a good game any, anymore. And yeah, uh, there were not many f uh, chances, but you know, there was one run from Mbappé where he was free that he couldn't get power behind the shot. Uh, there was another chance, I think around the 80th, where you think, yeah, Mbappé, uh, a fit Mbappé would have made something out of there. The interplay between him and Neymar actually worked quite well. Uh, but it looked like Atalanta is holding uh, out and then Chupo Moting came on. <laughs> I had a little slight chucky. And then Neymar is on the side, uh, gets into the box, the ball goes in. I think it's slightly flaky. Marquinhos takes, takes shot, it's again the flag and it lands in the net in the 90th minute. Gut wrenching, because Atalanta was really hanging on at that moment because Remo Freuler was injured, so they were basically down to 10 men. Uh, Remo Freuler just filling in uh, the bodies because they already had uh, made five substitutions. They would have gotten an additional one in uh, overtime, which is, I think, what they were hoping for. But Atalanta really looked gassed at, 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 at the moment and I knew with that equal as it will be hard for Atalanta to go through. That it went so fast that in the 93rd, so the third minute of stop, stop, stoppage time, uh, they have an attack move where Neymar then plays a wonderful through. That was the pass of the uh, evening to Mbappé who just can put it uh, to his net and Chupa uh slamming it in from short distance, make it 2-1. It's just it was in a way inevitable, but I thought this would come in overtime and not in stoppage time. 
It was a great game and I have to say PSG did not have a great performance but I felt that PSG is there as a team and I think this can mean a lot if Di Maria comes back and maybe even Verratti I think PSG could be a threat this could be kind of the monkey off the off the back to finally get over that hump uh, on, on the other side if you've seen Bayern Munich uh, and probably Manchester City or Manchester City always has uh, this ability to mess things up at an in inopportune moment as well um, they are clearly better teams. I also don't know how they would do against Atletico Madrid, but I have to say this was a huge win for PSG. This, I think, could mean a lot. And if, uh, you know, they got now some more game time, uh, that will also, because they only have two competitive games. So I think with time, I think at the moment, I, I would say from that path, PSG looks like set for the final, although never discount the other two. But uh, speaking of which, they probably will play tonight. I expect a very long and tedious game, to, to, to be honest. Uh, but I let myself surprise. Anyway, congratulations, PSG, but even more respect and congratulations to these guys. Atalanta for a great European season. Uh, yes, it started weird, but then the comeback, what they played against Valencia, a great season in Serie A. Atalanta was one of the joys to watch this season, and I even came, came around because for me, Atalanta, when it's the season started, was kind of this nuisance from Bergamo, uh, until you have to just give credit to their great way of playing games. Anyway, let me know what you thought about this game yesterday. I think it was, an, in the end, an exciting game. Uh, second half was a little bit, had some lengths in it. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos or playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.